Hey guys, sorry for looking pretty rough today. Um, it's almost 9 o'clock and I'm pretty tired because I have been writing essays ever since I've been home and sorry for the weird angle. Um, as you can tell, it's night out so I can't film with the natural light and so I'm kind of filming with my light and my laptop. Um, but today's topic and theme is basically uh, um, secret hidden talents that we have. Um, I don't really know of a secret hidden talent I can have. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking like on a whim. Like I'm double jointed in my thumbs, so like I can pop them out. Like, can you tell? I don't know if you can even see that, but whatever. That's not really a talent though. So I was just gonna, I know you guys all know that I really like to write, and if you're new here, I like to write. Um, I always tell everyone that I meet that I think writing is a really good way to get out of a depression or get out of a funk and just let your feelings out and it's a really healthy way to do so. Um, basically like writing has saved me in many ways and now that I'm in this relationship with Ian, my fiance, who is like around 4,000 miles away. It's also hard, but I write about it sometimes. This is not definitely not one of my best poems that I've written, um, just because I didn't feel like digging in my poetry book for a bunch of poems. Um, I don't really have the time to do that right now, and this one's already copyrighted, so no one can steal it, and I only have like three pieces that are copyrighted, and I think this one is the best and most passionate, or whatever, the best out of all three that I could share with you guys. Um, I don't know, that is copyrighted so no one can steal it. Um, but I thought that I would just write it, or read it to you, um, just share something that I like to do with you all. So, I guess I'll read it, and I've never, like, this is kind of, like, weird because I don't ever share my poems with, like, anyone. So, bear with me and consider yourself really special. <laughs> So, I wasn't going to even post this video, but I definitely wasn't going to let Cassie down, and I was going to tell her, you know, like, this makes me really uncomfortable, but whatever. I guess the whole point of this group is, like, getting out of your comfort zone so that other people will get out of their comfort zones and better themselves and be healthy. Help, health, health, oh my gosh, I cannot talk today, and be healthy and help themselves. Okay, so this is about Ian and myself, and if you don't like cussing, then you probably shouldn't listen to this because I do cuss in some of my poems, so. Um, and just know that poetry, I know, like, I haven't started this yet. People, um, will interpret this differently than I wrote it, so please don't leave any rude comments and don't assume because when you assume, it makes an ass out of you and me, so keep that in mind. Um, this poem is called Life on the Line or Lines Over Love. My chest gets tight and all of a sudden it's hard to breathe. The world starts spinning and I'm alone, deep in my thoughts, far down in my pain. No way to redeem myself. I am lost and alone. To think about you across the world, fighting for your country, your life on the line. It kills me. Once again, I'll be left alone. But it's a lifestyle now, right? I hope for a letter. I pray for a call. I beg to see you. I miss your lips, my lovely. I miss the feeling of your fingers intertwined in mine. I miss being your queen. I love feeling light as a feather. Someone wake me up. This dream has me numb. But dreaming is all I have since he can't be here. The pain of loving a marine. To fight for love or to fight for war. Or to fight for love, to fight for life. What is this war? Totally butchered the end of that. I was like really deep into it. And it was like really good. Whatever. Um. I don't know. I guess I'll read you my other one too, but... It, this one is right or wrong, and this one, whatever, people like this one too, but whatever, I'll read it, this one's also copyrighted, so like, please don't like, steal my work and like, whatever, if you're gonna like, like, type this up or something, give me credit, you know, glitters XXO or X something, I mean, like, leave my screen name or something, like, if anyone likes this that much, give me credit, or please, like, leave a comment, and I will give you my information so you can give me credit and print it out, or whatever, um, 
that's copyrighted, so that would mean a lot to me. Um, this is called Right or Wrong. It's like I'm in the middle of two uncrossed paths, between could have or and would have. But this median, it holds pain, pain unbearable for the soul, a worthless kind of pain, the one that digs deep, even when a knife doesn't. No one understands. He thinks he knows. He thinks he understands. Truth is, I hold so much baggage. I have a fucked up mind. Things are complicated. And what if, and how so? What if I go? What if I stay? Either way, I'll, I'll be alone, completely alone. So now I have to choose. Do I want to be alone for love, alone for life? And with each way I go, my heart tears a little more. The answer needs to come before I write that Dear John letter. And everything falls back, not to being anything more, anymore. The thoughts are jumbled, and the only thing that flows slowly is a song on repeat in the background. I call to, I call to, get, an unex, I call to get an expected voice now. I leave a message, hang up the phone, and lay there numb. Because that's how life is. No matter what happens, no matter who's here, no matter, no matter who leaves, life is numb. It's that numb kind of pain, but I don't expect you to understand. So those are two of my poems, and I don't know, I feel like you could probably relate to the second one better. Um, I don't know. So these were both written a while ago. I published these, these on, in 2012. And it doesn't give me the exact copyright date. It just gives me the 2012. But if I dig back into my papers, then I will be able to find them. Oh, August 8th, 2012. It's almost a year ago. But yeah, um, if you guys like this, these videos, um, maybe I will start posting them on my Tumblr of my writing. So if you want to hear more or whatever, just leave your... Uh, leave a comment in the down bar and it's a big step for me and I kind of don't want to upload it but I'm going to just for Cassie's sake um, she's got enough on her mind so don't want to leave a blank Tuesday um, yeah so I'm kind of nervous this is scary mm, it's a long video too it's already 7 minutes what the hell I have a headache and I'm like really tired and I miss Pray Little Liars because I have been you have missed like 8 episodes and tonight was the season finale and I don't know anywhere where I can watch an episode for free. So, not okay. Not alright with that. Because Netflix doesn't have my the season yet. And I'm like, not going to wait until summer to watch it. Because that's just pissing me off. But whatever. And then I finished a three-page paper today. And blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> so, yeah. Sorry I was looking this way, and sorry I look like crap, and sorry this is so flippin' long. So if you stuck with me till the end, then thank you very much, I appreciate it. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye.